Hi and welcome to the Code Lab. Today we're talking about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, it's been a requested cloud uh, by a few clients uh, wanted me to build stuff up there. Uh, they have a lot of services like any cloud provider. Oracle has been a uh, company behind a lot of open source software, MySQL uh, and other other products. So. Uh, it's not in the top three. It's not one of the leaders like AWS, Azure, or GCP, but Gardner marks them as a visionary. So uh, they have their, their use cases. So uh, today I want to talk about building Windows servers in OCI, and I want to give you three tips of uh, the main things uh, to do in the cloud if you're building Windows servers. Uh, I wrote an article, and I'll put the link here uh, for you to read, uh, but I'm just going to go through the main parts. Um, after you get your API keys like any cloud provider, the first thing that you want to do in OCI is set up the networking. By default, uh, only SSH is allowed. Um, so if you're building Windows servers, you want to make sure that WinRM and RDP are enabled. Uh, WinRM is going to be for Park Packer to uh, log into the VM and do the automation and the uh, port is 5986. Uh, make sure you set that. The second thing you want to set up uh, for Windows servers is uh, password expiration. By default, OCI, every time you build a VM, they give you a temporary password and when you log in, you have to reset it. Packer is not built to do that. Packer is built to log in and automate uh, tasks like uh, software installations. So if you don't set this, uh, Packer is just going to stall and not do anything. Uh, by setting a uh, password to expire to false, then Packard can use the original password, log in, and do its automation. So make sure you do that. And the third thing that took me a little while was uh, pack, uh, OCI has very specific uh, sysprep steps. Uh, this is because they install plugins. Uh, this is also because they uh, want to push things into the console, like logs. And they have an array of firewall uh, uh uh, rules that need to be enabled for for OCI to work with your VMs so I have a link here that will show you how to do it manually but my article talks about how to automate all those steps with Packer so that you don't have to worry about that every time um, so make sure you check, check it out and let me know if you're using OCI already if you're planning on using it or uh, any any drawbacks that you've seen from from using it all right Hopefully this is uh, helpful for you and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.